Yeah, Mr. Epstein, the vile, pedophile, sex rapist. This is what they need to call it. Sex rapist, rapist. Worse than that, he's an abductor, plus probably a murderer. Yes, let's listen to what the, the limp wrist justice system has to say about this. Today, we announced the unsealing of sex trafficking charges against Jeffrey Epstein. The charges allege that Epstein sexually abused young girls by enticing them to engage in sex acts for money. Epstein was arrested this past Saturday evening at Teterboro Airport aboard his private jet that had just landed from Paris, France. Contemporaneous with the arrest of Epstein at Teterboro Airport, agents executed a search warrant on his uh, mansion in uh, New York City and uh, recovered and seized, and that was a search pursuant to a valid warrant. Uh, agents seized uh, evidence, including uh, nude photographs of what appear to be underage girls. Beginning in at least 2002 and continuing until 2005, Epstein is alleged to have abused dozens of victims by causing them to engage in sex acts with him at his mansion in New York and at his estate in Palm Beach, Florida. The girls were recruited in a variety of ways, usually by employees of Epstein and sometimes by fellow victims. The victims typically received hundreds of dollars in cash. The estimated dozens of victims were as young as 14 years old. We think he's a significant flight risk, and that is why we are seeking detention uh, pending uh, trial. Uh, he has uh, in enormous wealth. Uh, the charges are very serious, and they carry with him a maximum sentence of 45 years in jail, which to someone of uh, Epstein's age is basically a life sentence. Today... So, let's, 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 let's examine this situation a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. This man wasn't working alone. There's a network of people. He's also, look at the people he, he's connected to, who he associates with. Only these people, and I've been saying this for years, about all of the missing children that come up in this country. Just this country, the, U, the, the U.S., 800,000 children come up missing every year. And maybe one-third from what I was reading from the FBI's uh, data it, it, it has been found or surfaced. So only people with these kind of resources, ladies and gentlemen, can make this kind of stuff happen. The average person can't. They don't have the resources or the connections to make these things happen. Nor do they have the resources to make these people disappear, these poor children. And don't be fooled by what the media is telling you or the legal system. There is a slew, I mean a, a, a big group on a global scale that are doing this. And... I call for hanging or being shot in front of the public for these kind of acts. Seriously. I know that sounds kind of fucking harsh, but you know what? People reject violence, but they respond to it. They respond to it, okay? When we start hanging these people in the public's eye, Swinging from the neck until dead, dead, dead. Or shot in a firing squad. Done publicly. So all can see what happens to people when they commit these kind of crimes on people. This is, this is a heinous crime, okay? These are the worst of the worst crimes besides murder, okay? Our, our society should not be burdened with housing people like this. Any pedophiles, any rapists, and any murderers. But this, to me, when you go after children like this, little innocent kids, and you do what you do to them, 
and then most likely out of fear of, of getting in trouble, you're probably going to fucking murder the kid and the kid's going to disappear and we're never going to see it. Never going to hear about it. And what they're telling you is probably half as bad as what it truly is. And that's the truth. People, don't be fooled by what they're telling you. There is a serious problem going on with this. I have been wondering about this for years, many, many years, how people come up missing, especially the children, and no one ever, ever finds them. So then that tells me that these, pe- these little kids that are coming up missing, young people, little people, somebody's doing something to them or they're being kept somewhere as slaves. Yeah. Don't think that that shit can't happen in our reality. If you think that it can't happen, you're living in a fucking bubble, man. You're living in, a, in, a, in an illusion of a, a, you think that a utopia is happening. Bullshit. There's a lot of bad people and a lot of them are at the top. I'm a, I, I, straight up forward, there is a lot of people at the top that I would not be surprised if they're connected to this. Birds of a feather flocked together. And if you don't think that that is not truthful statement, you're a fool. These people are sick, demented human beings. There are narcissistic, psychopathic people. And most of them are in government. Yes, because people like that seek these positions because they know with these positions comes the carte blanche of getting away with crimes. Most people in government have committed crimes. All of them. Every one of them. And our government people are complicit in breaking the law constantly. And they get away with it because we're not demanding any justice to come forward about these things. This is just the tip of the iceberg of the problems, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a fact. Until the society wakes up to a reality that they don't want to believe in, this is going to continue to happen. When you do wake up and you start demanding these things or take justice into your own hands, yes, and take and grab these people and swing a rope over the nearest tree, limb, or post and start swinging them from the necks. Shit will stop happening because we have a pansy-ass, bullshit fucking legal system that does nothing to these people. Nothing. Oh, I'm going to go sit in jail. Probably going to get out. Yeah, oh, yeah. I am so tired, and I'm sure many of you are tired of seeing these people get away with crimes that no one else could ever get away with. A slap on the wrist, a few months in prison. Yeah, really? Are you serious? It's like that wiener guy. Really? Why isn't he sitting in a fucking prison? Any of us normal, average Joes, you wouldn't even hear about us. Because they would shove us so far in prison, they'd have to pump air to us and slingshot food to us. That's how bad it is. So, if you don't demand, and we don't demand justice, not only for him, all of the people he's connected to, because this is not a singularity. This is a conspiracy, and conspiracy means more than one person. It's not a voodoo word. It's not a fucking magic word. It has meaning. Go look up what conspiracy means. Means that there is more than one person involved. Dumbasses. Better make sure that serious justice is done to these people. Not just put in prison. And they should go into general. Make sure that you request general population in a prison. Not no special place. These people should be able to be had by the regular prisoners. Yes, so that they can fucking gack them. Yes, because they won't put up with that shit either. Yeah, you put this guy in fucking general prison, this motherfucker is going to die. And he knows it. 
and everyone else knows it. And no one should get special privileges to go to a, a special place. Cops, fucking politicians, you name it. They need to go to general prison so that we can have our justice done in prison then. That's it. Have a good day.